Wesley so he knows how to draw. When he needs to draw, he always draws. He never wins. Okay, this game he won. He blew his streak, but he really tried to draw. He did a really good job. Okay, so what did Wesley do in this position? Yeah, does Wesley ever take? No, but he took here because draw wins the match. Okay. And then he played. Now, what's funny is here you always play c4 because that, but he just played here because he's trying to play boring, like symmetrical. And black is trying to not play boring, so black plays asymmetrically. And Wesley's like, no, 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 I'll, I'll play symmetrically too. Yeah, we'll have the same position. Yeah, and black wastes a lot of time. And white trades everything off. Yay for trading. Okay. And bishop g3 was really interesting because it looks like you're really weakening white's pawn structure on the king side. But actually, the, the weakness this creates is the e3 square because the pawn's not defending it. And black already did that by playing f6. Never play f6. And white has the e-file. So this is just advantageous to white. And also, White's king is safer when he goes to the H file because all his pawns are here. So that pawn structure is fine. Okay, queen e6, g4. Yeah. And I'm sure this is about equal. Um, although I do like White's pawn on g4 because normally in chess, when you play g4, it's very weakening because your g2 pawn is gone. But if you have two g pawns, now you can play g4 very safely because your king is still protected. Don't really need an F pawn here because rooks on E1. And so this knight can't really, yeah, it's, these pieces aren't, you know, they're not really going anywhere. Rook E8, Rook E3, trade all the rooks out of the E file, agree to a draw. Probably not what black wants now. Okay. So he played H5. And H5 is very weakening. H5 is a dangerous move because you move a pawn in front of your king, you undefend your bishop. Um, and you undouble white's pawns if he wants. Okay, so knight h4 is a good move. And now, since this is the most advanced of my four classes today, what is white threatening? If it was white's turn to move, what would he do? Rook takes e7. Yeah, and then black would incredibly resign. He'd say, I resign a lot. Yeah. Lose all his pieces. Yeah. And knight h4 is brought to you by the move h5. If only, you know, Simon Williams was watching. You'd be like, h5, yay. After h4, you'd be like, oh. Mm. Yeah. So now we're, and again, if you don't see the tactics, that's okay. But you know they're there because these are attacked. So there's a tactic somewhere. It's hard to do tactics when nothing's attacked. When everything's attacked, it's a lot easier. Well, this is attacked, this is attacked, this is attacked. There's a tactic somewhere. How many of White's pieces are attacked? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, no tactics. Yeah. Okay, well, obviously, black sees rook takes e7. So he plays queen f4 because he's tricky. Now rook takes e7. That's nothing to sneeze at. Exactly. Yeah, you play rook takes e7, you lose your queen. Now, he's meeting the tricky tactics with tricky tactics. Probably would make more sense, if possible, to just defend his bishop or move it, but this is much trickier. Okay, that, that doesn't work. Rook e1, Paul Morphy style. So he played queen g5, which is a horrible blunder. Maybe he was losing anyway. Hmm. What's funny is queen g5 makes the most obvious move the best one. Very weird. Like, what's the most obvious move with no calculation after queen g5? Knight f3, your knight's attack. You move it away. Maybe he was expecting knight takes bishop or knight f5. No. But yeah, knight f3, and that, that's it, because the knight defends the queen. This move saves the knight, attacks the black queen, and defends your queen. That's a pretty good move. And that, I mean, after that, you resign because your knight's hanging. The, the queen's defended. This doesn't pin the queen anymore. You're just losing a knight. Somehow the game was always under control, and he was always a little bit better. Well, he has the knight pinned on e7. It's like black was struggling for equality, and he had to play for a win black. So that was, man, Wesley Sell.